You are being dispatched to a 36-year-old female who crashed your bike. There is a witness on scene. On your account? All right. One, two, three. I'm Casey Collins. I'm a senior at Riverside High School, and I plan to become a registered nurse. Ma'am, do you remember the bike crash at all? No. Well, she has slurred speech and facial drooping. I care about people, and I want people to get the best care, like 110%. How do the lungs sound? So my um, good friend from camp that I met over the summer, we FaceTime pretty regularly, and this time we just happened to be doing homework, um, and I see the whole side of his face is drooped down. And I was like, oh no, like this isn't good. Well, he was kind of like, he was kind of muttering to himself, like writing down stuff, and it didn't sound very like clear and coherent. I was like, can you um, wave at the camera or something? I think it's frozen. And he tried to, but he said that his arm was asleep, that it felt like pins and needles, and he couldn't really do it. And I knew that those three things is what a stroke is. And I was like, he needs to get to the hospital now, so this isn't really bad for his future. And he thought I was joking, but eventually he went and he was diagnosed as an ischemic hemorrhagic stroke. KC to have not only learned the information, but retained it and be able to apply it, that's a true medical professional. Uh, she took information from a book, from a scenario, and put it in the real world, while still a senior in high school, and, and changed that child's life. He does not have permanent disability because of her. I actually ended up FaceTiming them while he was in the hospital, and his dad was very appreciative and was thanking me a lot and was like if it wasn't for you he's like I would have never thought to go upstairs and check on him doing homework he was like thank you so much like you gave me my son and I was like no it's just like I just want to help I literally learned the symptoms for neurological symptoms the day before that and more kids need to learn these basic symptoms I would say like people should know how to do CPR you should know like if like the basic symptoms for heart attack, and that comes from taking health science or some health career choice. To have been part of that journey is an honor, and I'm just amazed at her brilliance.